In today's video, we're gonna talk about animation layers, or I'm sorry, we don't have that in Blender, or do we? Okay, wait, we're gonna talk about the NLA editor and how it can work as an animation layers thing. It's, it's kind of clunky, but still till the end, because I have a little bit of a surprise for you. I'm Luciano, and welcome to the adventures of Lollipop Man. Here's my animation. Uh, you probably saw this one in another video uh, where I was talking about uh, mirroring poses and stuff like that. Check it out here. And yeah, it's not a great animation. Let's not even talk about it. But I want to show you how to use the nonlinear animation editor in a way that can more or less resemble animation layers. I'm not an expert on it. I haven't used it much. I just learned a couple of days ago from a friend that showed me how it works. And even though uh, I see that it has a lot of potential and a lot of the things that we need are there, it's just clunky and you need to do a, a learn a lot of things and it should be way easier. So I'm going to slide this panel over here and create a non-linear animation editor. And so simply enough, I'm just going to grab this, zoom it in. Uh, I'm going to grab my character and I want an, a, an animation layer where I can lower the body. As simple as that. Common use, right? And so what do I do? Where do I start? So the first thing is when you get this NLA editor, you need to press this little button, which is going to separate this animation that you have and put it on this so-called base layer. And we want this one to stay and we you probably want to lock this down so that you cannot slide it by mistake. And now if I I grab my character and lower him. Now it's lower and I need to set a keyframe for it to actually work. And we got that. And you're like, but wait, wasn't he jumping? And like now he's lower, great, but where's the jump? So by default, this NLA editor, what it does, it replaces your animation with the animation in the new layer on whatever controller has been keyed on the new one. And this is exactly what we don't want. We want to set this as combine. Um, and so now that it's in combine, you can see that I can press play and my character is much lower or I can actually rotate it, for instance, like this. And I'm not gonna do it with keyframes. I just wanna keep the one like so. I'm just gonna do that. So yeah. So now Batman is kind of cool. Um, and, and so that works. So that works. That's, that's, that's way, way better than what we had two years ago. That's for sure. So until this point, it's all workable. Great. I think it's not too hard. Besides the fact that you have this massive interface for something that should be kind of tiny and easy to handle while you're in the viewport, it's not terrible. It can work. Problem comes down, well now I want this animation to be baked into my original animation. I haven't found what I would call a reliable way. So I'm going to try here. I'm gonna show you how I try. I'm going to go bake. And the only option that seems to do anything similar to what we want is the NLA bake, ac bake action. And for the one part, it doesn't have a smart bake, so it will bake either every frame or every two frames or however you want it, but not a smart way. And we probably want only selected bones or let's see if we do the entire thing and override the current action. Okay, that's baked, but it baked it into this original layer. I, I don't want that. I want it to be baked into my new, in my base layer. And so, here is my stopping point. Is this baking part isn't obvious, it just starts becoming complicated because I reckon I personally use animation layers in Maya a lot. And so having to find the bake and everything has to be something quick. And people that don't use it that often, they shouldn't have to hunt for the way to correctly do it. And this is already seeming like the obvious setup, uh, it's not working. And so, and so yeah, the NLA editor, can sort of work, can sort of replace some of the functionality. There's probably more stuff that I don't know. And please, if you do, let me know in the comments below. But I have something for you today. Uh, yesterday I was surfing the internet while I was finishing another video and I found Tol Hershko. I hope I'm pronouncing this right. He created an add-on that basically uses the NLA underneath to create the animation layer. So I, I think most of the functionality is in the nonlinear animation editor. It's just 
not in a way that we can figure it out easily. And so I'm going to show you live here. Just going to turn it on. Going to animation layers. Turn on animation layer. I'm going to create a new one and say I'm going to grab this guy and put it lower. Yeah, something like that, like we wanted to do before. And I'm going to make a keyframe. And that works. Very simple. It's exactly what I was expecting. I have an influence here. Yeah, this works. And now if I want to smart bake, which has a smart bake, I can just go merge down. Bam. We got our base layer again without any extra stuff. And it's all in my regular animation. This is fantastic. I'm just going to select the one uh, that was actually affected. And yeah, there we go. That's it. We got animation layers now. A caveat, a caveat. It's not a caveat, but it's a new add-on. This is the first release. He, I think he released it like two days ago. I just found it out of luck and decided that I needed to buy it because, man, man I need animation layers. Like, like I've animated most of my life without them. But the moment I learned them, I, it's, it's a important piece of the puzzle to actually be able to do stuff quickly and easily. Mostly when it comes to doing changes and, you know, clients and... So, yeah, animation layers for everyone. And hey, go on here, buy them. You're not paying for Blender. You're only paying for one add-on that's $17. It's going to change your life and your workflow. And if you're already used to using animation layers, here it is. Community to the rescue. One of the things I really, really enjoy about Blender is that it has a really active community where people are sharing, they're selling their add-ons. There's a lot of functionality that is in Blender sort of hidden and people have make it work, but they're usually super accessible to everybody. I'm in no way in business with Tal. Uh, the only reason I'm promoting his add-on is because I see the need of animation layers in Blender, and this is a fantastic addition. I hope this is one extra barrier that we can lift for you to make the jump over to Blender. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe, and see me next time. Mm -hmm.